Monday postponed due to the coronavirus pandemic. Officials from the start to the finish line have a message for all runners. Nick Giovanni is live in Hopkinton this morning with the story. Nick. Save your energy for September, Kate. That's the message across the board from BAA officials to city and town officials along the race route. And we can tell you, by and large, for the most part this morning, it's been relatively quiet here at the start line in Hopkinton. But if you look at some video shot just before 5 o'clock this morning, you could see apparently one runner did not get the memo as he made his way out to the start line. Small group of people took a quick pick, and then away he went. It's not a great accomplishment. You're not going to be celebrated for it. No one's going to be clapping for you. It's like that with the Boston Marathon postponed for the first time in 124 years because of the coronavirus pandemic. Runners who've had this date circled on their calendars for months, if not years, being asked to hold off on taking off down the 26.2 mile route to Copley Square. Main reason is to keep first responders on the front line of the pandemic on the front line, not at the finish line, having to tend to some running related injuries. It's all about perspective. And in as much as the Boston Marathon is an important road race in the lives of so many people, it's just that, a road race. And what's going on in the world is so much more important. Stay home on Monday. You know, don't go out in the course and try to be a hero because it just sets us all back a little bit longer. A word of advice from 2018 winner Des Linden. Back live here, you can see the face mask still firmly in place on the statue of the starter. Extra parking restrictions also in place here in Hopkinton. Just one more part of the effort here to try and encourage people to stay home and stay away from the race route. There's also, we can report, a Hopkinton police officer here not far from the start line. Live in Hopkinton, Nick Giovanni, WBZ this morning. All right, Nick.